Hello filmmakers! Today we are... Oh, that's important. Hello? Hello filmmakers! Today we are going to put the RE Alexa 35 onto the Ronin 2. When you get your Alexa 35 camera, you might have noticed that none of the fixing holes are the same with the holes on the Alexa Mini LF and the regular Alexa body. So you need different accessories to put the camera on a gimbal, like on the Ronin 2 or a Movi Pro. Uh, there are a couple of companies out there who are making accessories like top plates and bottom plates to fix the camera on a gimbal. Uh, we have a couple of those, so we are going to try them today. Cineworker, yes, they are making uh, a nice bottom plate for the Alexa 35. We have a top plate from Cineworker 2. And we have this crossbar for, from 1A Tools. And this is the original Ronin 2 crossbar, but I will show you that it, do, it doesn't fit onto the, uh, the camera. So let's start with uh, releasing this. Finder. And then <clears throat> let's start by taking the shoulder plate off. So basically, now with this configuration, if you had um, a different top accessory then you could get away with using these top screws uh, but no chance for the running tool so for the bottom we are using either the apex cinema gear or the cinema worker bottom plate but slides into the bottom of the camera and the one from Cineworker is much longer so you might have uh, longer room to adjust the camera. What you have to be aware of is the safety pin from the REBUD1 sliding plate. It's really sticky so it doesn't really come all the way sometimes it doesn't block the, the plate, but it's not from the plate, it's from this small locking pin, but might get stuck from dust or from whatever, and you have to loosen it, like pushing it a couple of times, and then it will work. So now you fix this plate, and then you can start unscrewing the top plate. So this is the original running T crossbar, but you see onto the camera. So uh, 1A Tools is making this larger cross T crossbar, and uh, this should fit. The only thing is that you have to remove uh, this sliding locking tool from this bar and put it on the other one, and uh, that can be tricky. But it has two screws here and they are really tight and when you undone that you have to be careful because there is a spring inside this mechanism so it won't jump out you have to hold it when you take it off and then you can slide it into place here when you done that you have to close these screws so the things won't come off. That's one way. And then you can put this T crossbar on the camera and put it on, onto the Ronin 2. Um, the other top plate, what is really nice, is the one from Cineworker. And with the Cineworker you can you can use the original bar and you can mount it onto the camera. Uh, Cineworker sells this for 170 euros, um, but it comes also with a lot of uh, fixing holes and also it comes with uh, 15 millimeter rod support 
but it's really handy when you want to put some uh, the motors on camera. But repeat, for this one you have to use the old Ronin T the crossbar and uh, this one raises a little bit the profile of your camera and this one from the 1A tools it goes onto the camera so you are gaining maybe 5 millimeters or something in height. Okay, let's try this one. The other advantage of this Cineworker Alexa 35 top plate is that if you are not using it on a gimbal, you can use these big middle screws to attach an older uh, Ari Alexa Mini handle, so you can have really nice small setup. So I repeat, the Cineworker does the same thing as the 1A tool Ronin 2 top plate or top crossbar, just it gives you a little more location screws and, there you go. and also gives you the possibility of attaching an older Alexa Ari uh, top handle for the camera. What might be also handy when you want to use the, the camera on the running to unscrew the power module from the back and then let's try to put it on. We have to put this plate on it. like this you can still close this thing so let's start the gimbal and uh, with the power cable from Cineworker what you can buy also in Europe let's power the camera so it goes from the TB5 battery pack down to the camera okay And let's power the camera. It should work. It works. Okay, so the camera is on. You can see the display. The accessories you need to mount the Alexa 35 on the Ronin 2 is the T cross bar from 1A Tools, but makes a a T crossbar designed for the Alexa 35 and for the Ronin 2 and uh, or what we are using is the one the Alexa 35 top plate from Cineworker. The bottom you can use the Apex Cinema Gear bottom plate, universal bottom plate for Alexa 35 or uh, you can use the universal Alexa 35 bottom plate from Cineworker. We are using both, depends from the scenario. And also, what else you need? You need a power cable that powers the camera from, from uh, uh, Ronin 2 TB55 battery pack. That's about it. The camera is running. So we are happy with this setup. I hope you will like the accessories also if you buy them. Thanks for watching, bye.